Alvin, um, I know you for many years and I've been reading about your fiduciary duties. You're a PhD and you're on the high level, so maybe you can explain the fiduciary duty, simple words. Uh, it's, a, it's a critical term. It's a little bit difficult to make it in a simple word or two, but I think I can. When I think about what that person has to be and how they've got to respond. Fiduciary is one that is entrusted with a great responsibility to serve another. So in that, in that case, if I were the fiduciary, then it would be expected that I would be one that would always serve those in which I have been entrusted the responsibility to serve. That is, it won't be my opinion, it won't uh, be left up to how I feel, it would be always the fact that I've been entrusted the responsibility and have the willingness to serve. So maybe you can uh, say, uh, say to the citizens, so do you think that the court officers and the government official owes a fiduciary duty to taxpayers? That is a paramount, that is the supreme responsibility to a uh, recipient or tax uh, servant in this case, is that they must, without regard to their feelings or regard to, to anything, it has to be done because they have been entrusted with the same. Thank you. And yeah. um, I feel that we live in America and the fiduciary duty should be, should be considered a very important issue. There is no other or no greater response from a, a governmental official than his or her res fiduciary responsibility. Thank I you. can't think of one. Thank you, and I appreciate your opinion because you're a pastor, you're a PhD, and thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.